Let us also compare between equity shares and debentures. Equity shares are held by the owners of the company. They are the shareholders or owners of the company. Debentures are held by lenders of the company. This is a loan and this is capital. That is the fundamental difference. The other things regarding the issue, the process, the fixed denomination, etc. are very similar. But equity shares represent owner stake. Debentures represents only a creditor, a lender. It's a loan, a liability. Equity shareholders have voting rights and control, but debenture holders do not have any such rights or control. Debentures are paid a fixed interest rate, maybe annually, maybe semi-annually, half yearly or maybe quarterly. Equity shares may or may not be paid dividend. Dividend is the, is the return on shares. Interest is the return on debentures. But if there are enough profits, equity shareholders may get a dividend and the rate of dividend may vary from year to year. It may be 10%, 20%, 50%, 100%, whatever. But there is no fixed rate of dividend. Of course, preference shares do carry a fixed rate of dividend. Dividend which is a return on shares is an appropriation of profits. It's a distribution of profit. So dividend is paid only when there are profits. Interest on the other hand is a charge against profits. It is an expense. It is not an appropriation. It is an expense. So irrespective of whether there are profits or losses, interest has to be debited to the profit and loss account. Equity shares are not converted to debentures, whereas debentures may be converted into equity shares. We have some kinds of debentures called convertible debentures, which could be converted to shares. Shares, of course, are a part of the shareholders or owners funds in the balance sheet, but debentures come under long-term borrowing. Debentures are part of long-term borrowing. Debentures are redeemable. They have to be repaid after the fixed. If the debenture has a life of five years, they have to be repaid after five years, maybe 10 years, maybe eight years, whatever. But equity shares are not really redeemable. Equity shares or equity shareholders are paid back their capital only on liquidation if there are surplus assets. Equity shares may be forfeited. The amount which is payable on an equity share may be payable in installments. For example, if a company issues a rupees 100 share, it may call for rupees 30 on application and rupees 20 on allotment and 50 on the final call. If that be the case and if the all the calls are made, but a shareholder has not paid any one call money. Let us say he has not paid this call money, first and final call money. His shares may be forfeited, which means his shares are cancelled. The money which has been given by him, the 30 and the 20 which he has paid, that money is forfeited by the company. The shares are cancelled and the shareholder may cease to be a shareholder. But in case of debentures, debenture holders are not owners of the company. Debenture holders have lent money to the company and on the money which is lent, they have to be paid interest. Debentures cannot be forfeited, cannot be forfeited. 
In case of liquidation, debenture holders are normally paid first because debentures are usually secured by a floating charge on all the assets of the company. So once the assets are sold, in case of winding up, the proceeds are first used to pay off the debentures, then other liabilities which are not secured, and only then the shareholders are paid. Equity shareholders are paid after debenture holders are paid, all other creditors are paid, all other liabilities secured or unsecured are paid, after preference shareholders are paid, only then if there are surplus assets left are the equity shareholders paid. Thus, equity shareholders are owners of the company, whereas debenture holders are lenders to the company who receive a fixed rate of interest.